This is Bull Wow. Please ensure you purchase a ticket that will validate your smart card before calling. This, this tram is for Old Market Square. The next stop is Ivory Vale. We are officially geniuses. Yesterday, throwing down with rain all day. Today, we don't even need coats. And he, he Geniuses, it. He yeah, it was, this was Andy's idea. He saw the weather yesterday, decided he wasn't up for it, and we came today instead. And definitely the right decision, because it's like 15 degrees. This is awesome. I get travel sick on trams at the best of times, but on a warm day, facing backwards, I'm a broken man. Somebody else is having a good time though. Bye woman. Bye bye girl. The one downside to us coming today is a 13 minute wait for the next tram. 13 minutes! I know, I, I thought, and no, then there's three, four minutes between each tram. I know. We're doing two. Not in station. Yeah. Probably He's planning the rest of our route. Oh, Marcus Square for summer. Well, it's not summer yet. It's Oh, Marcus Square for Andy Gosling. Yes, you'll be going to Old Market Square, don't you worry. Let's talk Andy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Well, despite the sign saying 13 minutes, it came inside two minutes. No, not Keep getting going. inside. Awesome. Keep not going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. If we go left, the seats. Andy. Andy. Come around here, look, seats. Should a tram be too busy, please wait for the next one. This tram is for hot I've been going here. This tram is completely empty, apart from us. Probably because no one was expecting it. In all our years doing this trip, I don't think we've ever had an empty tram before. It's like we're having a, uh, a special presentation. He can point his camera anywhere. We're normally constantly saying, Andy, out the window. So he doesn't point it in the face of the people sat opposite. But there's nobody here. My woman. You should have a camera That's pointing at me thing. and then we could just do a camera triangle. Do you want to borrow a camera? been here about 30 seconds. Everything's running very smoothly today. We're either going to have the greatest day ever or something spectacular is going to go wrong and this is just lulling us into a false sense of security. But we've waited a total of about two minutes at all the tram stops and crossings combined so far. We'll do this once again. There we go. Don't eat it. Yeah, there we go. Another one there. Don't encourage him. He has hay fever. This is a very bad idea. We've been trying to meet up with Twitch Mod Kyle for the last 20 minutes or so. He's always one stop behind us on the tram, and he won't stop and wait for him. And we thought he was going to be on this one. Ours is about to leave. He's heading here now, and our tram's just arriving to take us that way. So I think rather than him being on that one and being able to jump on this one with us to go back into the centre of the city, which was the plan, I think we're probably going to cross him. I'm going to try and sit on the window 
nearest where he's likely to be. Just to show we do learn from our previous mistakes, you can just about see there a wire. We have a little charging block for Andy now and we're taking advantage of the fact we're on the tram and still to charge his phone back up. Only took us three trips of his phone running out of batteries before we figured out we could do that. We're slow learners. The next stop is Orwell for what? town centre and local bus services. Yeah. He's, he's filming his own face. I thought he was filming out the window. He's filming himself do the announcements, which he knows all of them by heart and the station's in order and everything. And he's living his dream at the moment. We're sat right next to the tram line. He's eating a McDonald's. He's pretty okay, happy. Come. He's filming all of it. The bells went off a minute ago on the town hall. Here comes Andy. He's, uh, he's pretty Sorry. impressed. Yeah, this is, this is, he'd sit and do this all day, every day, quite happily. Here comes the tram. This is how close we are to the tram line. And just like that, his happiness turns to disaster. I can't show you because YouTube doesn't like blood, but he's, we just looked at him and he had a nosebleed. I don't know what, he must have shoved something up there. Or he's put his finger up there or what, but no, do much that. blood. And we have nothing to clean blood up with. I don't know that I've ever known him have a nosebleed before. But he doesn't really know what to do about it. What the hand? Cleaning up with hand sanitizer. And a, <laughs> yeah, I know. And a, why have you got that cloth? It was just in there when we moved. <laughs> oh, <dude. laughs> I left it in there just in case. Hand sanitizer and a cloth. Food and tram watching break complete. Where are we going now, Andy? A digital display. We're going to go and look at a big digital display. Yes, that's where the trams, that's where you can get tickets from, I think. I don't even know. Andy's filming the big digital display around the corner. Meanwhile, Anna has sent me to fetch bubble tea. Excellent. Bubble tea. Bubble. You're watching Friends now. Any moment now. You watch Friends. It's Short Stay! There he is. It's Short Stay! Hello. Going in. We haven't seen Short Stay this year. You want to go in? Yeah. Are we kidnapping you? You go watch your little friends? I'm going in the car, we're going home. Andy's convinced we're just here to pick Short Stay up and bring him back to our house. <laughs> which we are not. not Hopefully, sure. in a few weeks, we'll be able to. I can't remember what the next bit of easing of restrictions is. But fingers crossed, we'll be able to bring him over and show him the new barbecue at some point. Maybe even let him have a hot dog off of it, if he behaves himself. This one's just grumpy because I've had to turn the engine off so he can't home. charge his phone. Yeah. We're gonna be going home soon. We're just, seeing, we're just seeing Lewis. And watch Friends. We can't watch Friends at the moment, we can't go in. We just have to say hello to him. Anna's had one sip of her drink and poured it all down watch, her chest. Yeah, watch friends. It's stupid, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna say You're right down to there. Lewis, okay? We're just talking to him. You wanted to come and see friends. him. <laughs> oh, he's gone. You watch your TikTok short stay? Short stay 89. There you go. For a little piece of trivia, every time I upload a TikTok, it immediately takes me to watch one of short stays. I don't know why, but it's what I get immediately after uploading one. I see one of yours. <laughs> we can't watch Friends at the moment. We can't go inside. No, we can't. Don't watch now. Everyone say goodbye to short stay. Last time we came to Nottingham, we came to the service station on the way back to get some food, because it was late. We don't need any food today, we don't need to be here today, but there's a lift in here. And because the shopping center's closed in Nottingham, and he hasn't been able to go in a lift all day, we're bringing him to the lift here. Anna's really happy about it, as you can see. <laughs> we have returned from Nottingham. Andy is in here watching his night guard and stuff. Dave has decided to just sit on both me and Anna and just shed hair on us constantly. It is definitely time for him to get a haircut. We have no idea where to take him for a haircut around this area. Um, and we are currently in the very early stages of sofa shopping because this sofa that we're on is a little bit destroyed. We had hoped to actually get new sofas as part of moving, but I think at the time we weren't able to get them delivered here when we first moved in. Yeah, it was, what we thought we'd be able to do is time it so that the new sofas got delivered here just after we moved in and then we wouldn't have brought these ones and we could have just chucked them in the skip. 
but there was a longer delay than we thought so we we're gonna have to bring these ones here and the company we were buying from weren't able to take these ones away and we can't get a skip here because there's no way to put a skip and it was a whole thing so we kind of gave up and now we're back on the sofa buying thought process again and we're trying to decide whether we want a replacement for this sofa and then a smaller sofa to replace Anna's recliner and Andy's broken old chair or whether we want to keep the recliner get Andy a new armchair that is so loud <laughs> and just replace this we would like a um, a corner sofa but there's just nowhere in this room to put a corner sofa because we've got the patio doors there the fireplace there, you can see Andy's on the recliner now watching the telly. Then there's the TV, that's where Anna's desk's gonna go, and then there's the door. So, I don't think there's any way we can fit a corner sofa in here. What do you think, Dave? And to make matters worse, every sofa we see that we quite like the look of is one of those, that's, the back is just all cushions. And this one, if you've ever seen him with cushions before, you'll know that anything that incorporates cushions into the design We'll just get destroyed in moments because he'll have them all off on the floor and that's where they'll live. And now it's just before 7 p.m. which means I am about to go live on Twitch. In fact, the countdown is already going. We are live. We're just waiting to turn the cameras on so you can see there's a few people already in saying hello. If you were there, say hello again in the comments of this video. Why not? Why not say hello in multiple places? We've got three hours of this, and then I should probably edit this video together. Busy, busy, busy day. And stream is complete. And that is the end of this video. Andy's been a little bit iffy with Anna about bedtime. I had to run upstairs during the stream to help give him his medicine and encourage him to get into the bath. So he's just been a bit argumentative this evening. I suspect he's probably just tired after a busy day at the end of a long week, but potential worrying sign for tomorrow we'll see how he gets on fingers crossed it's fine next weekend's reward is we've got a local church we've agreed to open up and give him a tour around he's not been in a church for a long time and he's asking about it constantly so we've got pr plenty to bribe him with again this week so hopefully it's just me being a little bit a little bit pessimistic and things should all be fine in the morning fingers crossed and of course you'll find out tomorrow one way or the other toodle pit folks